Hey everybody, Adam here from the Tennessee Adult Education Division. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of how to scan and score the answer sheets uh, for the Table 11 and 12 into the DRC Insight Portal. So here we are at the login screen for the portal, and I've got my username and my password, and I'm just going to click on login right here, which will take us over to the welcome screen for the portal. So here we are up at the welcome screen. You can see up here on the top right that I am logged in. Uh, over here on the left-hand side is where you can see all applications, and this is everything that you're going to need to be able to do in the DRC portal. So you see general information, user management, student management, and all so on and so forth. These are all the different things that you can do inside the portal. Uh, you might not have all of these options up here like I do, but uh, for the most part, everything that you should need to be doing in the portal should be up here for you. So over here on the very right hand side of this, you'll see local scanning. And this is where I need to click in order to go in and actually scan the answer sheets into the system. If you don't have this option, all you need to do is just contact this number right here, which is 1-866-282-2250 right here. Uh, that is TABE customer service, and they will be able to set your account up with a local scanning option. So I'm gonna click here on local scanning. Uh, and wait for this to pull up. And just while we're waiting on this, so we're already uh, ready to go. We've got all of our answer sheets. Uh, the, all of the data has been captured in there and we the students have already taken the test and these are sitting in the hopper of your scanner just waiting to be scanned in. And so here we are. This is the local scanning option and my site here is already selected, but if I needed to select a site or change the site, all I would do is enter into this field right here. So we'll enter in Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development, which is the site that I'm at. And here we are. I'll go ahead and click on this, and that'll pull up this site again. And then down here, uh, we've got our scanning option. And so this is the scanner that I'm currently using, ScanGear version 2.71. Uh, if that was the wrong scanner, or if we needed to select a different scanner, uh, I would just click on, click on Select Scanner. And here we are. Here's that scanner again. I will click on that, and now we here we go. I'm ready to scan the answer sheets. So in order to scan these, I just need to collect, uh, click on this bluish, purplish button right here that says Scan. So I'll click that, and now here we are. We're scanning our documents. So one thing that pops up whenever we do this is this little pop-up box that says Transfer Pages, and this is kind of how you know that it's working properly. So right now it's scanning all eight pages of the answer sheet uh, that we just filled out in the previous video for Charity Burbage. And so as this is going on, we can kind of see what's happening. We're uh, scanning all of our documents and then this will pop up and it says, all originals have been scanned. Do you want to scan more originals? If there are more originals to scan, then we can put them in the feeder or the hopper and then click yes. And if not, then we can click no. And so. We don't have any other answer sheets to scan. We're just going to scan the one student. So we will click on no. And here we are. So this is showing us kind of what's happening next. Uh, we're scanning our documents. It's encoding the images, whatever that means. Uh, down here below, this is going to show us kind of what's happening right here uh, with all of the different documents. Again, this is eight pages. Um, we have documents that are processing. Uh, we have documents that are uh, going to be successful right here, and then we have failed documents that are going to be over here. So right now, everything is just in process right now, and here we are. So we have eight of eight pages that are done being processed. Here is that book ID number that we talked about in the previous video, 4006733 under successful documents. That means that a test booklet was successfully scanned into the system. We don't have any documents that were failed, so no test booklets that were failed over here. And so we should be good to go. So I'm going to click on continue down here on the right hand side of my screen, or on the bottom of my screen rather. And this will take us to where we can review all of the information before we submit it to scoring. Now, if you remember from the last video, uh, Charity Burbage accidentally entered her date of testing or her date of birth wrong. So this is what this error message is telling us. It says, not all documents have a valid biographic data. Please update the highlighted documents to proceed with submission. So before we can submit these for scoring, we just have to go and correct that error. Uh, so all we need to do is just click on this little pencil icon, which will help us edit that data. 
So I'm going to click on this, and this will pull up where we can actually enter in. Here we are, the date of birth. Uh, so for Charity Burbage's date of birth, remember it was July 31st, 1962. So I will enter that in. Uh, we don't need to enter any other data here. If we wanted to put in a gender, we could also choose that. But it's not necessary for this uh, scanning. So here we are. We'll click on Update. That will update everything, and now this is turned blue, and we can actually submit everything to scoring. One quick thing to note here as well is that if for some reason we had several students here and we wanted to, uh, you know, one or two of them were scanned incorrectly and we just wanted to, to get rid of those things and try those later, we could click on this X, which would just get rid of that one student, and then we could proceed forward with submitting the rest of them for scoring. So here we are. We're going to click on Submit to Scoring. And this tells us that we are good to go. Our documents have been successfully scanned and sent to be scored, and that reports are currently being generated. So from here, if we wanted to, we could go back to scanning, we could scan some more answer sheets, or we could click back up here on all applications and then go to report delivery, where we could view all of the different TABE uh, individual reports.